This is a 2012 CRV, and of course the back seat folds down very nicely. Also it folds back up very nicely. I had one problem on my CRV. When I pull the lever down here at the bottom, there's also one in the back. Um, that's the way it's supposed to fold down for both sides. You see I've been working on it this side already for this car. But on this side, you'll notice everything's good. I pull the magic lever and the, the top flips down, the bottom flips up, but the seat is stuck. The problem is within that little attachment that that little clip that attaches to the stud sticking out right there. So I've fixed the other side already and I just want to walk through the steps to fix both sides. They're both pretty much the same. Two different part numbers. I'll show you those. So here are the parts that you'll need if you're having that problem. Um, and you're going to have to work through this to get these the seats to fold down before you can actually work on it. What you'll notice, these are my broken ones. Both of them broke at the same time within a few days. Not the exact same time, but within days apart. Um, there's this part right here. It connects to the wires that are attached to the pull down here as well as the one I was pulling up front. And they they are the mechanism. They basically allow this part to fold down. If this is locked up on you, let me show you how to fix it. Um, before I do that, I'll show you the part numbers for these. These two parts I got from Hendrick Honda. They gave me a discount. Um, 822 well you can read that there um, they were special order parts $125 is the standard price and I found them online and took a printout at Honda Zone Parts as well as Honda Parts Now where they were 72 and they were able to match the prices so those are the parts you'll need there's a left and right part they're both different part numbers 8262082220 so those are your part numbers and um, so these are the bad parts here. To get this apart and to fix this, you'll need three tools. You'll need a socket, 20, uh, excuse me, half inch, half inch socket. I recommend an extension. You'll need a screwdriver, flathead, and you'll need a pair of pliers. I recommend um, actually needle nose. So you actually need needle nose pliers. Flashlight's helpful for taking this part apart. So I'm gonna go over to the one I fixed and just basically show you what it looks like. Um, I haven't put the cover back on, but it's gonna have this cover on here. And imagine it connected to the stud sticking out right here, there we go. Um, so when it's connected and the seat's upright, you're gonna have to work the screwdriver in, and it's, this is where it's helpful to have a flashlight. You're gonna have to work the screwdriver in and push this part up, so see if I can do this so you can see you'll be behind it and you'll be pushing like this and you'll need to flip that up like that just like that it's a little easier when it's down um, so you have to crawl in the back and there is a like I say if you can find this smooth part you'll be behind it flip that up just like that and it will pretty much go down you can push the seat forward while you're doing this pretty easily and it'll pop plop down. Once it pops down, you'll be able to work this off. Of course, this has rivets in it. I'll go over that in a second. But this will be up connected and you'll work that out. So let me show you what it looks like raised up. Flip this up. It's a little tougher to get to, a little tougher to see. That's why you need a flashlight see it's connected right there once you can see it and it's a little easier to see without the trim you can't really take the trim off until you get it down you just work your flathead screwdriver right there and it'll drop down of course pull, go ahead and lower the seats pull the lever so the bottom is lower see so that drops down so that's that's the first trick to getting this getting this started so to take this apart, what you're going to need to do is um, first work out these little rivets. Um, these are a bit challenging to get off. 
what I did is I took a screwdriver and w actually went up behind it and then I ended up with some sharp nose pliers not these pliers I actually was able to pull this back and then once I got this out this actually lifts straight up I broke mine keep in mind there's these little um, studs here and I actually pulled it out I should have pulled it up um, toward the top of the car so pull it up not back um, toward you so pull it up straight up toward the roof of the car um, I'm gonna have to fix those or get their replacement because now they're kind of broken so then what you're gonna do you're gonna see the get my camera so you're gonna see that the um, part is visible um, you'll need to unzip the lining of the car and there's a zipper you, you can you have to pull out the edge here there's a zipper it just unzips like a coat or jacket and that just gives you a little breathing room um, it doesn't really you can take it off I suppose but you mainly just need a little bit of breathing room and there's three screws in, or three bolts in here one two on the bottom or toward the bottom of the seat and then there's one that's a little harder to get to on the top right there so I'm gonna take my this is a half inch um, with an extension um, I'm gonna take it you have to break these so you'll need to take your ratchet first and break these and I'm just gonna take them out so I got all three out you'll see there there's a little hole you can kind of reach in um, through this hole and get the screw on the bottom or you can pull it back it's a little easier if you pull it back um, I got the top one just by pulling it back you can also go through the hole I don't want to rip it so I, I pulled it back a little bit the top is a little tougher like I mentioned it's you kind of got to pull back this this padding and it's right there I already pulled it out and you can work your your ratchet in and it'll pull right out um, so here's the three bolts they're all the same um, just with a washer and like I mentioned they they had a little bit of torque on them when I removed them so you just might have to break them a little bit just a little bit more effort getting them off um, at this point you'll be able to pull this out you just got to carefully not rip your seat and you can pull this out you'll see that there's a wire attached to it um, so the first thing you're want to, gonna want to do probably if it's broken is pull the wires out um, I'm gonna since this is the new one I'm gonna pull them out this way I'm gonna pop that off the gray goes on top toward the roof gray toward the roof white toward the front of the seat or bottom so now it's off and you'll see that there's a little gap there where you can kind of work these little um, rivet uh, buds out well, I don't know what you call them <laughs> these little spheres and you can work this out and it just kind of comes off so that's the new part like I mentioned to put it back together you just reverse that process um, to put it back together you're gonna first want to put the little spheres back in make sure that the white wire goes on the bottom the gray goes on the bottom the gray goes on the top or toward the back of the seat or toward the roof of the car um, so this is gonna go on top the other one's gonna go on bottom so I'm just gonna put those back together I'm gonna first put the little sphere there you go they just kind of slide right in and with those slid in now I'm going to one-handed I'm going to try to work this gray one on the top or toward the top or back of the back of the seat and the white will go on the front I had to put my camera down to do that so that's what it will look like when you're ready to go you see it's pretty snug the, the wire is pretty snug and you know not a lot of not a lot of give in it um, but you do have enough room to work with so I'm gonna just slide it back in place and slide it back under the seat to put it back in and then I'm gonna put the bolts on Put the bolts on I'm just doing it by hand first to get them started um, once you get them started it's gonna be pretty easy on um, lining them all up but you gotta get that I think the bottom one is the one you might want to start first um, either the bottom or the top I already put the top in first actually so um, I got those two I just need to work on the last one on this side 
and then I'll be able to go to the next step. Then the next step, the next step will be snugging everything down. So I just attached my ratchet on here. I'm just gonna snug all three down. I didn't do that to begin with because I want to get everything lined up first. So I'm just gonna go in there and snug it up by using the ratchet and um, getting them torqued down so this thing will hold in place. So this is the whole, holding the seat. So I'm gonna um, use a little bit of torque. I don't know the specifications of the torque. Um, I'm just using a regular wrench, but I'm just gonna try to get it tight to hold in place. And as I torque them, I just went and torqued one, then the other, then the other, and then I went back and did it again. Um, just sort of like a tire, just to make sure the, the bolts were in pretty snugly snug snugly and um, so now I'm just gonna kind of work this um, fabric back and you want to make sure that this is exposed this is where one of the little rivets goes um, that you'll use to attach your hopefully not broken cover assembly here so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and zip this back up find my rivets and get it ready to put it back together so I'm just zipping this back up and taking the end and tucking it in place. So you know, it's kind of hidden. I need to do a better job of that. And now's the moment of truth where I'm going to test this thing out. So I'm just going to fold it back, get the seat belt out of the way. Clicked in place. And now the bottom in place. All those together. And I'll pull the latch. And it works. Sweet deal. So now I'm ready to put the top on. I'm going to test it one more time to make sure this works. I'll test the back. Latch. works. Thanks for watching.